Hi John, this is a short video here about how your CRT 7JP4 measures to one of my spare ones. Here's one of my spare ones here. Okay, and here's the CR70 Sencor. And I've got the uh, filament set for 6.3 volts. And if I go to HK Shorts, test good. And I go to G1 Shorts, it tests good. Cut off. Now it's been on for a while, so it's getting better. Before it wouldn't even get up that high, so it's got pretty good cut off. Now this is one of my spare tubes, not yours. And I'll go to emissions. You can see what's way in the green. And I'll even give it the life test where it uh, turns off. I don't know if it turns off the cathode or reduces the voltage, but either way, you can see it stays way up there. Okay, now I'm going to hook up yours and show you the difference. Okay, John, here's your pitcher tube connected to the universal adapter, which is connected to the CR70 just like my other spare tube. I get the filament set for 6.3 volts. Okay. Now I'll check for HK shorts. There. It's in the good. Now if I go to G1 shorts though, it's in the bad. And this tube over here was in the good. So that's not a good sign right there. Um, <clears throat> Cutoff is pretty good. Okay, and emissions is good. And the life test is even good if I press the life test button, it stays up there. But look at HK shorts. I'm sorry, it's G1 shorts. It's in the bad. So that's the thing that's feeling here. So please let me know what you'd like to do next. Um, I tried wiggling the pins. Of course, if it's shorter, it's shorter. It wouldn't make any difference. Or oh, unless the neck of the the base is twisted so far that a couple of wires are touching. I don't know. Maybe I'll look into that. But uh, the, here's a little short video to tell you what's going on. Thanks. Bye.